so the next algorithm for matrix decomposition that we'll be discussing is eigen value or spectral decomposition so eigen value or spectral decomposition is also a very popular matrix decomposition algorithm that is used majorly in pca so if you have read a uh, principal component analysis during dimension reduction eigen values and eigen vectors plays a very very important role so before moving ahead we for must need uh, we need to know a few baseline concept which we will be using uh, while performing eigen value decomposition so what is an eigen vector for a square matrix a an eigen vector is a non zero vector when multiplied by the matrix a only changes in scale but retains a direction and eigen values the corresponding scale factor associated with eigen vector is called a eigen value so eigen vector and eigen values are basically related to directions of particular matrix something uh, a bit mathematical that i am wishing to skip because eventually i am assuming while reading pca you must have read about eigen value decomposition uh, eigen value decomposition specifically eigen values and eigen vectors now moving on to eigen value decomposition the relationship between eigen vector eigen values and actual matrix is represented by this particular equation a into v equals to lambda into v right where lambda is the eigen value v is the eigen vector and a is the actual vector now eventually if we move this particular term on the right hand side to the left hand side we get a minus and we can take v as a common so this becomes our whole equation a minus lambda i i is a identity matrix into v equals to 0 now we will be using this particular equation to get eigen values and eigen vectors right so assume that we are taking this particular uh, uh, matrix for starting a equals to 4 1 2 1 5 6 2 6 now form the matrix a minus lambda i so a minus lambda i is equals to 4 minus lambda 1 2 1 5 minus lambda 6 2 6 7 minus lambda so why this is so because lambda is a scalar and i is an identity matrix so in identity matrix we have values only in the diagonal 1 1 1 and rest of the values are 0 and hence when we are subtracting lambda is getting to only to the diagonal vector diagonal values of the matrix a now we will be calculating a determinant of matrix a minus lambda i now determinant is something that has a different formula for different dimensions of matrix for a 3 cross 3 matrix this is the formula that we follow a into ei minus fh minus b into di minus fg plus c into dh minus eg so we'll be applying this particular formula to get to a determinant equation for our particular matrix a minus lambda i so we get this particular equation for determinant and if we assume the determinant for this particular matrix is zero we get an equation in terms of lambda now once we solve this particular equation for lambda we will get our eigen values because lambda equals to eigen values now once we get our eigen values we will be placing the different eigen values into this particular equation a minus lambda i into v that we created earlier and we will be calculating v and actually and eventually we will get our eigen vectors also so in this way Uh, we will be getting rv that is eigen vectors that and hence helping us in the eigen vector decomposition 